Hey, it's Milton Daily Homes Chuck here, and uh, just before we get started, I think we have eight or nine homes today. I uh, wanted to let you know about the Milton Buyer Class that's happening this weekend on Saturday at 10 o'clock. You can sign up just over there, or you can go to miltonbuyerclass.com. Uh, some really good information. We're going to show you what lenders look for, how to buy a home with zero down. We're going to have our special guest, Colin Best, talk about all the development in Milton. You don't have to necessarily buy a home in Milton, but that's some extra information. He, when he's able to come, it's fantastic. Uh, we look at about 50 slides from real home inspections. Uh, we talk about how to beat other buyers to the best new homes. And daily homes is good, but there's actually a better way even beyond this when you're a little closer to buying a home. And, uh, and we're even going to talk about things like how much it all costs. And even if it's not your first home, there's some very important things to know. And so we wrap all that stuff up in about five sections, about two hours, and you'll definitely want to go check it out. Okay, so especially with the special guest, awesome stuff. Okay, so let's get to today's list. 341 Wilson, number 53 is the first one. It's at 235 is price. Maintenance fees are 324.96, a little bit higher. So that, that obviously affects your carrying costs. Uh, three bedroom and you've got two washrooms. One of them is a full bathroom, upgraded floors, and you can see how neat and organized this home is. So even though these cabinets are the original ones that they've painted, there's a lot of pride of ownership in this home. There's, I mean, you can just see it. You can see the little details that you cannot fake and it makes a big impact. So, you know, things definitely look, uh, look good in here. Even the bathroom, they've replaced the countertop. So based on what I know about this complex, it definitely seems like, uh, like it's in the right range. There is a pool in this complex too, so that's part of the reason why the fees are a little higher is because you pitch in a little bit to, uh, to maintain that pool as well. I like it though. It looks like a good listing. So 526 Holly is at 3349. And normally these semis like on Lori and Holly, they're they're in that sort of 320 to 340 range. So they're definitely in the right zone. And you can see that that so that is part of the kitchen. So you'll see how this kind of fits together in the next shot. And then where the cameraman guy or the camera person is, uh, that would be the dining room, and then it L shapes around the kitchen. Uh, with this space here. So the living and dining are in an L shape. And then you've got upstairs, you've got uh, your master bedroom. That is dark blue carpet, which I can't see everybody loving, but good sized piece of property, about 120 feet uh, deep and you're about 38 wide. That's a good sized piece of land. So overall, I like this one. It's got a uh, rec room downstairs. It's got a fourth bedroom or like a little area you could use as an office. So yeah, everything looks good there. So 1122 Rudell is at 379. Again, that's a good price range typically for this model. It's a more side, so it's an end unit townhouse, which functionally is very similar to a semi. The only difference is with a semi, you're only attached to one neighbor. And with a townhouse, you have a, a domino effect of five or six neighbors usually. So the um it's a it says a regular premium corner lot. I don't know what that means exactly. It's a lot of uh, mumbo jumbo to me. But you look, it's got some hardwood floors in here, and uh, the layout's pretty good. You get a second floor laundry on this one. So wait for the photos. Definitely seven oh six Rainer. It says circuits Rainer Court three ninety seven. It's a semi detached. It's a um, eighteen sixty square foot home. Nice floor plan. You've got a partly finished basement with a bathroom down there and uh, it's, it looks like a three piece so it has a shower and beyond there I don't know much about it. That's a pretty good price for this home. I mean I don't expect it to be you know gorgeous inside. The front door is a big opportunity to let light into the home so I find it looks a lot better even just coming up as a first impression if there's some kind of a window in your front door if uh, if you're ever building a home so it doesn't really say much it says three-piece washroom but partly finished i don't know maybe there's just a bathroom there's no rec room or anything down there hard to tell uh spire circle so the other one's 1860 square feet and then 10,000 more than that one is a 1664 square foot semi so smaller and we're talking about carpet in here you know nice finishes neutral um I just don't think for this size of home, um, not having things like the hardwood, not really peeking it out at like a 11 out of 10, that these guys are, are really gonna be able to do this. 
you know, I'm surprised sometimes at what semis sell for, so I could be proven wrong. So Tonelli is 479. Uh, this model in the last three or four months has sold as high as 514. Or sorry, 510 is what. So I mean, they they were cresting along at a, a number. Had some really good sales recently. A lot of them have been up in the 490s. This one obviously looks onto a park, which I think is a beautiful feature. Um, it's a uh, Quincy Corner, 1878 square feet. Uh, it looks like some hardwood floors here. And potentially that could be hardwood in, that's the living room. And you can see the park from the other angle. But nothing else. There's only a couple pictures here. Uh, this could be an opportunity to really sneak in and get this one for a really good deal. Because I think the, the marketing, the pictures don't represent it as well as it could. And this is a good price for this home based on even the last couple sales. Good place to be. So if it looks good inside, it could be a hidden gem and it could be an opportunity for you. So Dairy Road is at 639.9. And so this is our listing. It's 1.28 acres and it's um, basically like not far from the base of the escarpment. So you get a beautiful view from the backyard. You're set back pretty far from the street. There's a double car garage there. Um, mostly original inside, but I think that uh, there's still a lot of value here. You've got the exposed wood beams. You've got a an eat-in kitchen here, which is a little hard to find in bungalows. You've got a big master bedroom and then two other decent sized rooms, uh, two full bathrooms on this level, which is again a very rare thing to find in a bungalow. So lots of space. There's a little courtyard behind the garage there and uh, you're about 150 feet wide and about 373 deep and the cool thing is is you're actually not on well water you're on town water because you're so close so this is just down the street from spring ridge farm if you're thinking about geography uh, right by bell school line awesome location great looking home uh, the land to me is priceless uh, but you'll see if you ever go to this home the view here is spectacular so 906 chambers is at 662.9, and so it's a Tothberg. It's 3331 square feet, and it's got, on top of that, if you needed it, there's got a fully finished basement there. There's a bathroom, everything else. So you've got five bathrooms in this home. So three up here, one, and then one downstairs. Let's have a look inside. So you've got upgraded countertops. Probably a little more stuff on the counters than what I'd recommend. You can even see some of the things here. Uh, simplifying is always a good thing. So they say they've spent about 200000 on this home. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the basement ran them if they did a good job, like probably 100000 uh, Apparently Gilligan comes by to visit. I'm just kidding. There's um, probably a bit of a uh, kind of a, a, a beachy water theme out there. Uh, living dining room, you've got a butler's pantry and you've got usually a laundry room on this floor. And there's your family room and you can see the deck. And uh, that's the laundry, probably on the first floor. And then you've got a nice big ensuite. So anyhow, um, I'd like to see some more photos of this one. And, and I think sometimes uh, what I mentioned on these videos is that if you don't have pictures of the finished basement, yeah, you write it in. But sometimes it's not always the most overt thing. Uh, so, so having at least one of your photos dedicated to that space, especially if it's been done really well, which I'm guessing at 200,000 in upgrades, it's probably pretty cool that, that you would, you would just be overt about it. Chambers, great street. I've got another one on the street that's selling at 649 that doesn't have a finished basement, that doesn't have some of the features this one has. It is a gorgeous kitchen, but beyond there, it's carpet, things like that. So this one, I think, is positioned where it needs to be. I think it's, uh, you know, it's it's in the right spot. And uh, the six to seven range can sometimes take a little bit longer to sell. Um, but I think, again, good place. Okay, so that's uh, that's the list for today. Um, reach out to us if you have any questions and then definitely sign up for that Milton Buyer class. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.